everybody, it's Kelly with Ready Set Drone, and today I have the MJX RC X series. This is a hexacopter. It's right here, and uh, I've actually reviewed a hexacopter very similar to this already, but the other one I reviewed did not have um, did not have a camera, did not have the live R FPV app, and also did not have the altitude hold that this one has. I've already set it up. Just wanted to kind of see what I was doing before I um, before I started the camera. It comes with the prop guards, which you can put on. I've elected not to. It comes with six of them, of course, because there's six props. It comes with this landing gear, which actually just pops into place here. There's some little uh, slots where the landing gear goes, and also this antenna, which I thought was exceptionally long originally. I realized that it actually has this little thing on the landing gear where it pops in like that, so that kind of keeps it out of the way. Has a door that opens um, for the battery. The cables can hold out. There's a hole right here where the cables can hang out. This is the uh, balancing cable. This is the uh, actual power cable. And then here's the camera. The camera is not, or is, is not adjustable. So the height, it seems like it's pretty much set. I'm trying to move it, but it's not moving at all. But um, that's okay, it's kind of at what looks like about a, a good angle for this kind of flight. It's got four blue LEDs on the front and two reds in the back, so you can do that for orientation. And uh, these landing gear do pop in and out pretty easily, so you know, get them in there nice and tight if you can. So it comes with a 7.4 volt, 700 milliamp hour battery, which is a decent sized battery. Uh, it takes about three hours to charge and probably gives you about eight minutes worth of flight time. Um, you, if you want to use the camera, you need to download the app, and if you're going to the uh, iOS App Store, you just search for MJXH, and that's where you get the app. It was very easy to find. Um, part of it's in Chinese, but not, not an issue. It's pretty intuitive. And then if you're um, looking for Android, um, you just visit www.mjxrc.com and download the MJXH application. Now the app allows you to do two things. It allows you to have FPV view. It also allows you to fly with a phone, but I don't recommend flying with a phone because it is uh, over Wi-Fi and there's a lag and it's just really not that great a performance when you try to fly with a phone. So I would just use the app for the um, FPV and recording. Um, there's a little holder here, handy little device that holds the uh, holds the thing on as you can see here and I hadn't really figured out exactly how this goes on but I think the way it works is it goes on this antenna here you can see it just slips on like this and then there's a spring in here that holds the actual uh, phone so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and turn on turn on my remote and I'm going to turn on the quad and I don't think you have to do anything to bind it. I think it just binds after a few seconds. It's blinking fast right now. It stopped, so I'm pretty sure it's um, it's bound. Now, if you see this red button here, this is how you start and stop your props. Actually, you start it with that. You just pull the throttle stick down to stop the props. All right, so what you've got to do to uh, do the app is you've got to go to the Wi-Fi and there will be a Wi-Fi for MJXH96D2 is what it says. So I just hit that. So I'm on the Wi-Fi with this thing now. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the um, open up the app, which is called the MJXH. So I've just opened up the app. And you can see I've got a live view of the camera. Now, you can also see that it's upside down. So I'm going to have to flip this over. Hold on a second. Okay, but there is my live view of the camera. You can see my awesome cameraman over there, Tate. Can you see it? Uh, and you can see the live view. There are a couple of buttons. There's the video record button, which actually records video. There is no SD card in this. The recording takes place on your device, so it's actually recording to my device right now, and you have to allow it access to your camera for that to work. 
And then there's also the, I'm gonna stop the recording, there's also the photo button. So just do a little selfie with it here. That's gonna be great. And push the photo button, there we go. So now, if I push this little button down here, you can see there's my video that I just recorded. And hit done. And there's a couple of photos I've taken with it. There's my selfie I just did. All right, now that we've uh, established how to use the app, it's pretty intuitive. We're going to go ahead and fly. So. I set it down on a level surface with the back towards me and I'm going to go ahead and start the video recording. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up the motor by pressing this red button and I'm going to take off. Actually, bring it over here. So you can see a couple things. Number one, uh, go ahead and get a shot of the drone. When you push the uh, upper left button, there's two buttons on the top left and the top right. The upper left button next to the start button uh, turns the lights on and off. So probably leave the lights on to get the orientation. And then the um, the upper right button here, this one up here, changes your flight mode. So that's more advanced. You can see it has more of an angle. And that's uh, less advanced. There's basically two flight modes. There's easy, which is here, which uh, with wind is not that great. And then there's more advanced, which is there. You can see how much it is. Are you recording off the app? I am. Good. Now, a um, couple of things. This thing is very smooth. Uh, with the six, with the six, um, with the six different uh, propellers, it really flies smooth. Number one, it's also pretty quiet for a drone. Would you say, Kate? Hey? Yeah. Um, not as loud as most most drones that uh, that we've flown in the past. Um, and then one of the coolest features is take it up a little higher so it can see us. The altitude hold. Now I'm not going to touch any. Uh, I'm not going to touch any throttle settings, and it's just holding its own altitude. Now the wind, of, cor of course, is going to blow it because it uh, doesn't have GPS, so it's not going to hold in position. I'm going to drop it down a little bit right here, but it is holding its own altitude based on uh, a barometer that's built into it. Check it out. I'm going to do the altitude hold again. Now I've, I've totally uh, let go of the stick and I'm just holding it in one place right now using the uh, right stick and the altitude hold is holding it in the same place. Stop the video for a second. Mine. Now we'll do a flip. There will, yeah. So there's two buttons on the top right. The one that's higher up is the flip button. This one here. Let's see if it's an old video watch does a flip. And the other one is the one that changes the rate. Oh. Oh. And we lost part of the landing gear. So let's bring it over here. Hold it. And kill it. Thank you. So I'm going to tell you the things, oops, let me roll the app real quick.
All right, so right now I am uh, recording this video using both cameras. Uh, I'm going to tell you the things I like about the MJX RC hexcopter. Number one, uh, it's super quiet. It's very smooth. Flies really well. Um, it it has a good high and low range, and it also has the ability to flip, which is pretty cool. Uh, the app is pretty decent. I mean, it actually records um, not great video, but it the Wi-Fi connection is pretty solid, and so it's got that going for it, which I really like. And it also has the ability to um, do still photos and video from your app over a Wi-Fi system. Now, the things I'm not a big fan of, um, first of all, the props or the, the landing gear falls off pretty easily. We just had that happen to us while we were flying. Um, and second of all, you have to use a screwdriver to open up the, the um, battery door, which I'm never a fan of having to use a screwdriver to open the battery door. As a matter of fact, I've already lost the screw. It's just hanging on there by, by being closed. So please, guys, when you develop a new drone, don't use a screwdriver to open the battery door. It just doesn't work for me. Use a snap or something. Um, but overall, I really like this little guy. It's, uh, it's very smooth to fly, very easy to fly, nice and quiet. And it's pretty responsive, does some cool flips, and I could see this being a lot of fun to take pictures with if you wanted to, or uh, even practice your FPV racing because the lag from the, from the app is really not that bad. You could actually fly FPV with this as long as you didn't get too close to anything. So, check it out. It is definitely uh, worth a check out and, and uh, a see. Um, it is the upgraded version of the other video I did. And it is the MJX RC X series from www.mjxrc.com. I'm Kelly. This is Ready Set Drone. If you like it, please subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you next time.